Hello everyone, my name is Bharo and I am Open Search Specialist SA working with Amazon Web Services. In this video, I will show you how to set up zero ETL integration between Amazon DynamoDB and Amazon Open Search Service. Amazon DynamoDB is serverless, fully managed, NoSQL database which offers single digit millisecond latency at any scale. And this zero ETL integration pipeline lets you search DynamoDB data by replicating and transforming it without custom code or infrastructure and reducing operational burden and cost of maintaining your own data pipeline. Zero ETL integration uses Amazon Open Search Ingestion service to replicate data from DynamoDB to Amazon Open Search service. It uses point in time recovery for initial snapshot and DynamoDB streams for CDC data. You can also use index mapping template to correctly map DynamoDB fields with open search index fields. To implement the zero ETL integration pipeline, we will implement following steps. First, we will create DynamoDB table using AWS CLI. Then we'll populate this table with sample records and then activate point in time recovery and DynamoDB streams on this table. We'll create IAM role which has access to S3 bucket DynamoDB table and which can write to open search uh, service domain and associate this with Amazon Open Search Ingestion service. And then finally, we will create Amazon Open Search Ingestion pipeline and verify the data flow into Open Search service domain. Let's follow the steps. I'll use AWS CLI from terminal to create DynamoDB table. This command will create product catalog DynamoDB table. And yeah, table is created. Now I will populate this table with sample data set. I got sample dataset file in my laptop. This command will insert the records into DynamoDB table. Now let's go to AWS console, select DynamoDB and see our newly created table. Yeah, product catalog table has been created. Now let's enable point in time recovery. and enable DynamoDB streams on the table. For that, go to DynamoDB streams, enable it with new images. Now let's create IAM role, which will be used by Open Search Ingestion Pipeline. For that, go to IAM from AWS Service Console, click on create, create a policy. Now you will see that we need a couple of permissions on DynamoDB. S3 bucket to read data from PITR and DynamoDB streams. Make sure you change account number and the DynamoDB table name here. Apart from that, we also need a permission on open search service domain. Make sure you change the account number and the correct domain where you want to write the data. Once the policy has been created, Create a role. Use Open Search Engine and Pipeline as a trusted entity. Click on Next. Use the policy which we just created. Click on Next. Give a name to IAM role. Once IAM role has been created, we will map this role against domains access policy and open search cluster security role. To do that, let's go to Amazon open search service in AWS console, click on domain, select the domain which we want to use, go to actions and click on edit security configuration. Now here, use the same IAM role which we created just now and replace the account number Replace the region, your account ID, and the open search domain name, and then click next. To map this role against open search cluster security role, go to open search dashboard, log into open search dashboard. Go to security, click on roles, all access, click on map user, manage mapping, and now add full IAM role ARN here and click on next. Now we have set up all the required permissions for open search ingestion pipeline. Now let's build the pipeline. 
To create injection pipeline, we'll go to Open Search Service Console. From there, under Injection tab, click on Pipelines and click on Create Pipelines. You will find readily available blueprints for some of the commonly used services. From here, I'll select DynamoDB and select the option which has Export as well as Dynamo Streams option. Click on the blueprint, um, give a name to the pipeline. Yes. I'll keep these numbers default. In the pipeline configuration under the source section, we'll define the ARN of the DynamoDB table, the S3 bucket where the export data is saved, ARN of the IAM role which has access to read from DynamoDB and the S3 bucket. Under the sync section, we'll pass the domain endpoint uh, index name, uh, a field of a DynamoDB table which will be used as a document ID. In the action, we'll define whether that will be insert, update, or delete operation against open search index, document version, uh, and finally define the role which can which will have the access to write into open search domain. And then finally, if the pipeline cannot write into open search domain for any reason, the failed request will be stored as a DLQ in the S3 bucket. So we'll define the S3 bucket as well and then click on validate pipeline. After that, let's choose the VPC. Uh, so I'm using the same VPC where my open search domain is provisioned. I'll select the VPC, select the subnet, the security groups. Uh, I'll create a new log publishing group for my pipeline. Click next. Review the configuration of my pipeline and then click on create pipeline. Pipeline takes few minutes to get created. Now my pipeline is in active status so I can go to open search dashboard and verify records. Let's go to open search dashboard and verify the records. For that I'll go to dev tools and uh, I can see that there are 24 records in product catalog which matches the number we had in DynamoDB table. Now let's try to update one record. Let's let's find the record with ID 103. The current price is 550 will change the price in DynamoDB. I'll update the price to 250 where the ID is 103. I'll run this command and we'll go to open search dashboard again and check the price for the same product. I can see that price is now updated to 250. Now let's delete one of the record from DynamoDB table and check into open search dashboard. I will delete the product with ID 205 into DynamoDB table. The record has been deleted. Now let's go to open search dashboard and look for the same product. I cannot find this product. So the changes are coming into near real time. In this video, we created Dynamo DB table inserted sample records and built open search ingestion pipeline. We saw how easy it is to bring existing data as well as new CDC data from Dynamo DB to open search. For more details, please refer documents from the link provided in description. I hope that was useful. Thanks for watching.